That's where it stops now. We've got all that. Yeah, I don't think we need to go any higher. Yeah, that might actually work. I think that's going to be perfect just like that. That's all I need to do is put, uh, that's not going to cause any ground clearance issues, is it? Um, I'd say no, as long as it's. Lower than that. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I don't see why that would be a problem. I mean, we I mean we could cut it off if you. Yeah, we can. We could cut it off flush. I, I didn't know if you'd want if you'd want me to put a hole here, be able to put a bolt through so they can't bounce out. I don't know how often you use your. Well, I do. Pretty much any time I'm delivering where I take the interstate, I'm using the tarp. But all I gotta do is pull it out from the truck we bag. Make it a pin. I've got pins we could put in. I've got bed. I've got pins. If you just put a hole in it, that'd yeah. be fine. Well, we'll mark them. Get them both in there. Mark them and then. Uh, Should we cut it off to where there's yeah, just I'll, enough room for a pin? Yeah, we'll cut it all off and show the hole at the same time. So should we, should we go where the bucket stays curled up and we're just going with them with the actual bucket arms? The set on the thing. That gives us an idea where it needs to be. So this is this is pretty much where it needs to be. I mean, I'm I'm right at the door, so I'll just know when I pull in. I just need to stop where them arms go on that cross piece, right? Yeah. Do you do most of your work with the? Uh... Yeah, I haven't had this blade off in months. I mean, I'll take it off the bush hog. But other than that, the blade's always on. Bush hog with this on the. You have to take the I, Well, I use my, my flatbed trailer and take the ramps off, or I can just, yeah, I can take the gates off and just have it, <laughs> just stick out the back six feet. Well, you've got the trailer too. Yeah. So you've got two trailers to haul a tractor, and I have none. Yeah, I've offered you to, to use my flatbed, but your tractor's too big for it. You had to go buy the biggest tractor at the dealer. So the tractor has wide hips. It does have wide hips. My The uh, flatbed has only got. 60, 68 inch clearance between the fenders. So. That's a nice shirt. Where'd you get that shirt here? Oh, my buddy gave it to me. He builds stuff in his garage. All right, what are we gonna use for this? Metal? Yeah, but I mean what? Let's so bend somewhere around here and cut her off. Somewhere around there? Somewhere around there. Good straight line. bucket on there to hold it down so it's not like it's going to be a super tight fit but it'll hold it in you want square tube or you want angle i don't know you tell me you're the expert i'm not an expert that's a lot thinner than that but is that going to be more rigid even though it's thinner because it's a square it's probably harder to bend isn't it yeah it might be no we can miss it though when you set your bucket up. Yeah. <laughs> when you put a pin right through it. I got pins, but it's not with me, maybe. I think I'm gonna go ahead and sign your dump trailer, okay? Fab fun right on the <laughs> we'll stop doing business with you to find out who's welding your stuff up. Weld a lot better than I do. And look at them pro welds. 
<laughs> well, this is 4K, isn't it? <laughs> Dropping down to 144. They can see. Bragging about his better camera. Says he's got a nicer John Deere tractor. And for the third time. All right, I got about a little over half an inch over here. I'm right at the edge of your the line you drew here. Just a little bit more. How's that? Yeah, we're good. I want to mark on my sticker. Slide it back to where it was. You good? Yeah. Think this thing will hold me? I think so. Marker decided to explode all it ex exploded. Oh well, you know extra. where. Yeah. You know where to go. Right about there. Yeah. Get that on your nice shirt. Junk everywhere. I need to clean. It's like a working shop. Great. There we go. Fab Fun is currently accepting sponsorships for a drill press. I have one, it's not a very good one. Oh, you did. That looks like a Pro 10. Can't be that hard, right? Gosh. Cam? It worked. You have this on the uh, steady? I don't cam? know. I guess we'll find out. Oh, okay. Yeah. Just going to make sure we get them. Straight. Straight line. You may have to water out the holes so it's got some play. Like, you should be able to wiggle these. Yeah, these wiggle quite a bit. Money don't jiggle jiggle. It folds. Kids have been listening to that on. What are they, what are they called? Alexa? Money? Some kind of K pop song? I don't know. It's on the TikTok. Yeah. <laughs> That way, some. There you go. That's pretty right. Forty-two videos on there. Half of running a YouTube channel is just. Ran a one and an eighth inch drill bit on.
an angle. A bad angle. I think somebody that does a channel called Fabbed Fun could drill a hole straight. I'll call them. Hmm. Huh. Oh, you gotta hold on to it. Send it. Bring the thunder. Nope. Nope. She is not happy. It smells get, like burning rubber. Yeah, let me go get my earplugs. Send it home in a blaze of glory. <laughs> Gotta get that one up there too. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. Much straighter than this one. You want, you want to ream it out some? Yeah, I'm gonna have to. That's uh it's not fitting. <laughs> she smells the bower smells warm. <laughs> I see smoke rolling out of this thing. <laughs> wow. Like it was built for it. I mean, so we're gonna go hitch pins here, right? Just put pins to it, or I can, yeah. Or those bolts will work. I mean, as long as you don't lose the nuts. Yeah, I, I could just get some big hitch pins from Track Supply. And let the snap rings be be quicker than that. Half by four. I think is what you need. Half by five might might be even better.
Well, folks, there you have it. Another project by Fab Fun. A custom bucket mount for the dump trailer. Utilizes the factory stake pockets. Drop the loader right on it. Throw a couple pins in. Good to go.